Sensory processing relies on well-defined circuits that handle different types of sensory cues, visual, auditory, tactile, separately. This is like trains that run in different tracks to get to the final destination. Yet we don't understand how this specificity is achieved. In other words, do these trains run in different tracks from the very beginning? Or do they acquire this specification over time? This work has been led by a very talented postdoctoral fellow in my lab, Teresa Guillamón Vivancos. To understand how sensory circuits emerge, we needed to activate them and record from them at early stages of development, particularly before birth. I was able to record the earliest evolved responses of the nascent sensory circuits and discovered that visual and tactile circuits emerge intermingled as non-segregated modalities. At birth, a tactile stimulus triggers a unimodal response in the expected somatosensory cortex. However, the surprising finding is that in the embryo, the same stimulus is able to trigger a multimodal response, activating both the somatosensory and the visual cortices. Our findings reveal that the superior colliculus, a highly conserved structure, is the place where this segregation is taking place. The multimodal to unimodal transitions depends on a reconfiguration of the intracollicular circuits that take place at birth. We discovered that the activity originating in the developing eyes is the signal to the colliculus to separate the circuits. Again, coming back to the train analogy, the retinal waves would be like station operators that direct the trains to the proper track. When this early retinal activity is blocked, visual and somatosensory circuits remain intermingled for a prolonged period of time, causing long-lasting alterations to the system. These findings represent a major breakthrough because they reveal that ancient structures such as the superior colliculus are key to understand how the cerebral cortex, the brain, is formed. And finally, the fact that these sensory circuits emerge unspecified may provide, may contribute to reorganization as those occurring in sensory-deprived individuals.